I'm Charlie and welcome to Right Away Ready Mix. Today I'm going to teach you how to make concrete. Now, the four most important ingredients to making concrete are rocks, sand, cement, and water. Right here, if you follow me. This is three quarter inch rock. If you notice, it's anywhere from about an inch to a half inch in diameter and radius. Now that is the strongest rock, and most concrete used for bridges and roadways will use this, but it's hard to work with, so a lot of private driveways and sidewalks will choose to use smaller rocks as opposed to this. So you just heard about the three-quarter rock right here. This is called pea gravel. It's about three-eighths of an inch in diameter and used in almost all concrete. It works well for sidewalks and driveways of homeowners where they need something easy to work with but something that's still strong. Also, well, on bridges and roadways where they use three-quarter inch rock, this pea gravel does a good job of filling in the spaces that the three-quarter inch rock doesn't fill in. So in addition to using rock, which came in three-quarter inch and pea gravel, concrete also uses sand. Right here, this is uh, top sand. Top sand is the bigger of the two sands most commonly used. So you can see there's, uh, there's some small pebble pebbles. And um, so the sand acts as a filler. It fills in the space between the pea gravel. And finally, the last aggregate used in making concrete is blend sand. You notice blend sand is very fine and grainy. And this fills in all the little spaces the top sand can't fill in. Alright, so we talked earlier about how you need uh, water, cement, sand, and gravel to make concrete. And I was able to show you the sand and gravel, but I'm not actually uh, able to show you the cement. Because the cement is a powder. And when the powder gets in contact with water, it hardens. And that's what actually makes the concrete. So, uh, cement is transported these big drums on the back of trucks to keep it safe and protected. Now, the cement acts as the glue in concrete, and actually when it gets wet, it binds it together. And if you can imagine, you have those rocks and sand, and they need to be stuck together, and that's what cement does for concrete. So the last of the four main ingredients used in making concrete is water. If you can see behind me, there's a water recollection so the water that comes off the trucks and stuff when they wash down, it all gets collected right here and then recycled and put back in the concrete. And that's what makes the cement harden. And also, it's what makes concrete easy to work with. The more water you have in there, the wetter the concrete and the easier it is to finish. Hey, so here we are in the dispatch office for Riley Ready Mix here at Martinez. Follow me. This is where they actually do the dispatching. They have all their computers set up here. They have video monitors to monitor chemicals. And here's Danny. Hey, Danny, how you doing? Hey, how you doing, Charlie? Good. Danny's the dispatcher here in Concord. So could you tell a little bit about what's going on here in your computer system? Well, this is where we uh, take orders. We take them on this sheet, mostly through phone calls. From here, we transpose everything onto our computers. And this is where our computers take over. Uh, used to be all just hand batch, but now, nothing is really hand batched. Uh, we do everything through this system. We just basically push buttons. It weighs all our materials, which includes rock, sand, cement. And from here, we can put it into the truck, which we can see through this window. Here. And uh, from there, we, the computer also can tell us where the truck is going, how long it's been on the job, and uh, when it's gonna come back. So that's what we basically do here. All right, so Danny, um, I noticed you have a price list here, and you have five sack, three quarter, and six sack. Could you explain the difference between five sack and six sack and three quarters and three eighths? Uh, sack uh, equates to the amount of cement per yard. Each yard of concrete consists of about 3,000 pounds per yard. Uh, each sack of cement equates to about 94 uh, pounds. So a 
five sack will be five times 94, which would be 470 pounds of cement in 3,000 pounds total of material. Uh, six sack would be 564 pounds. It's very basic for what concrete is and what uh, most of the industry goes by. Um, and what that equates to is strength. The more cement you have, uh, the more strength you're going to have in the concrete. And they measure strength by PSI. Uh, basic PSI for driveways and so forth is what we do. Patios is about 2,500 PSI per square inch. So that's basically what we do, but it ranges from, we can do it from 2,500 PSI up to uh, 10 times that if need, needed. So, uh, and each uh, each sack will be about five dollars more per yard, so uh, that's how we do our prices, and that's what we basically do. So we talked about the sand and gravel earlier, and if you can see, there are these big pits everywhere that hold it. Now they need a way to get the sand and gravel from the pits over that bucket right there, and to do that, they use a loader. Now this loader is capable of picking up two tons and gravel in one scoop, and it can carry it over there, probably the bucket right there, which is then able to carry it up to the hoppers. So today, I'm lucky enough to get actually load the batch plant with this loader right here. Now what's going to happen is I'm going to take the top sand, dump it into that big container right there. Now come with me. And this top sand will fall down on this conveyor belt right here then go up on the next conveyor belt before it finally gets taken on the last conveyor belt up to the top of that big hopper up there. So I'm going to start the conveyor belt. Then I'm going to go get the top sand. Alright, so right now I'm in the loader. This loader works a lot like a normal car. Right here you have your brake, right here is the gas. Then this joystick right here controls that bucket in front. I can raise it up in the air and it can also tilt it forward and backward and that's how I dump sand. Ready? Right here is the bin where I dumped all that sand into, and it fell down there, and went up this first conveyor belt, went up that next conveyor belt, and I finally went up to the top. Now I'm going to show you where that is. Alright, so here we are midway up the conveyor belt. As you can see down there, there's a loader and then the bucket we poured it into, and then it came up this conveyor belt right here, before it got transferred over to this conveyor belt right here. So here we are walking to the top of the conveyor belt. And you notice up in this hopper, there are four different compartments for the two different types of sand and two different types of rock. Over on the far side, that's three quarter down there. Right here, where the conveyor belt loaded everything. This is the top sand we just put up here. To the left, you can see the blend sand. Remember, that's the finest of the sands. And all the way to the left, that's the pea gravel. 